Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, and boy, do I need this workout. I need a really bad um, kicking off 2015, and I gotta admit, I've been slacking a little bit, having too much fun, so we're gonna get right back into it. And today, we're gonna walk, work all, it's all about the butt, the glutes, and the quads. So we're working those thighs and that butt, and we're gonna get some cardio in it too. I think this video is gonna be about 20 minutes. I'm gonna start with that warm up like I always do. We're gonna do cardio in between, and uh, we're gonna wait to do some on the ground work towards the end of the workout. Now, I feel like I'm not sweating enough, and we're not working hard enough. I'm just gonna add on because I like to do that when um, I have to gauge how I'm feeling and how you guys are feeling. So follow along with me. I'm super excited. <sighs> Sometimes you fall off the wagon. You gotta get right back on, okay? I'm getting back on. I need to, and I'm so glad you guys are joining me. So let's get right to this. No messing about, okay? All right, all my videos now with a warm up. I think we need a warm up. We need five minutes. Clock is on. Let's just start jogging in place, nice and slow. Because when we first start things off, we want to keep it nice and slow. Get our body warm. It's a Saturday morning. What'd you guys do last night? Whatever you did, we can get through this. Staying healthy and strong in 2015. So I like to start with a nice light jog. We're not doing anything crazy right now. We're simply warming up the body. So, while we're doing this, I've been looking over at some of my videos lately, reviewing them, and I don't feel like I've been encouraging enough to you guys to keep you going. So, if you feel that you need a little bit more raw rawing instead of me just pushing you, let me know, because I do know this is hard. No doubt, this is hard. So if it's too difficult, put it in a comment and I can do a more beginning level or just kind of give you guys a little bit more breaks. Let's bring the knees up, okay? Because now we're getting warm. We can work a little bit harder. And just bring those knees up as high as you can bring them. Like I said in videos before, the first five minutes is the most difficult. Because our body's like, what? <laughs> Why? And then it's like, okay. You are going to need a chair today. If you want, you can add some weights. I'm not. You're gonna need a chair or a bench, a coffee table if that's all you have, even a big book, a thick book, if that's all you have. Okay, now we can just do some jump rope. My favorite. I did wanna let you guys know that I'm working on a ballet workout. It's gonna be ballet cardio really getting in there and isolating the thighs and the butt, which we're gonna be doing today, but in a different way. But I'm excited to get that going. So many videos to make so little time. Straighten out your arms, move them forward and jump. How is your heart rate? Are you able to talk easily? Or are you huffing and puffing a little bit like me? Because that's where you want to be. You never want to get to the point where you cannot speak, or you're like, oh, then you want to take a break, slow it down. But we're just beginning this, aren't we? Okay, move the arms backwards. Get those triceps involved and those shoulders. Five minutes is a long time, right? <laughs> it always surprises me. Okay, let's do some jumping jacks. Old school, because everybody can do them. You can hear my heart rate is up 
I'm having a hard time talking. So come on, you guys. Really have another minute of this warm up. And we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna do jump kicks, which I really, really like. Because they're big on cardio. Big on cardio. So we're gonna burn a lot of calories with the jump kicks. And I'll explain them. A few more of these. Now we're gonna jump in place again. I can feel those calves. Get ready. Get ready to work. Breathe. Throw those shoulders back. All the way. Let's bring them forward. How's 2015? How's it going for you guys? I'm just gonna go up and down the shoulders. And both. All right. Almost done. Really like slow it down now because our body is getting really ready. And there you go. Let's go side to side. Great job. Okay. First exercise is jump kicks. We're going to do 20 on the right, 20 on the left. So basically, these might be a little tricky at first, but once you get them, they're really fun and they're really hard. So you're going to pick up your right leg, hold it there, and then kick with the left, okay? And again, that's two. So do you guys see what I'm doing? I'm going to pick up my right leg, hold it up, kick with that left. It doesn't matter how high you get. If you're just going like that, it doesn't matter. Just you want to pick up that first leg and transfer the weight, okay? So we're going to start with bending the right leg, kicking the left. We're going to do 20, start now. Here we go. That's 10 right now. Really kick it high if you can. Kick it. This is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. I love this move because it's like a fighting move, kickboxing move really, really gets your heart rate up. It has so much power. And if you're a little bit irritated, you can get your frustrations out on this one too. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 on the other side. This time we're gonna bring the left leg up and we're gonna kick, kick. You're gonna kick with a flexed foot. Three, four. Do this. Just five more. Come on. I'm doing it. If you can't go that high, go as high as you can make it. If you need a break? Take a break. But we have two more, so come on. One more. Uh. Great job. Those are no way easy because we just used all that energy. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. As a few of you guys may know, I've danced. For years, and I've danced ballet for a long time, I love some of the moves in ballet for your legs. Plie is one of them. So we're gonna do some plie pulses. So you wanna get in a turned out position. Those toes are facing outwards. You wanna come up. In ballet, they call this eleve, and then you're gonna wanna squat down, okay? So you're just gonna hold this for a little bit. We're gonna do some pulses. So if you really wanna get crazy, you can go all the way down. Quads have to be really, whoa, strong for this. But we're gonna kind of start up here. We're just gonna do some pulses for 20. You can hold your stomach in at this point, keep your back nice and straight. That stomach 
is what keeps your whole body together, that core, so you get no lower back pain. If you're feeling lower back pain, you gotta work on your core, okay? I completely lost count, but let's start with 10 more, and then we're gonna pulse little pulses. Ooh, are you guys hurting? These are so good. Three, two, one, I don't want you guys to get up. Now I'm shaking, my legs are actually shaking. If you need a break, take it, but I don't want you to, if you don't have to. We're just holding it. We're gonna go all the way down here. We're gonna hold it as low as we can get it. Oh my God, they're totally shaking. Five, four, three, ooh, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna have you guys stretch that out because that's intense. Pull it behind you. Stretch out that front quad, okay? Excellent, I know that was hard. Not easy. You might feel that tomorrow. And if you do, you'll be thanking me because you know you guys, we gotta tighten this up here, right? No one wants that falling. We're all getting older. But we can literally change our body through these muscle conditioning exercises. You really can. All right. <clears throat> I forget to, forgot to get my water again today. Always forgetting my water. Okay, grab a chair chair, a bench, whatever it may be. Okay, you guys know that I love my high knees, but I like my high knees with a challenge, so no one's cheating. Now, if this is too hard for you, go ahead and do your high knees, okay? If you want, you can just go like this. If you really want the challenge, which I would love you guys to join me in, get that foot all the way up there. Okay, we're gonna do about a minute of these, probably count them off. About 80. Halfway through, I'll do them to the front. You guys can follow along. Ready? Let's go. It's alternating. Lean back a little bit. Look at the chair. 20. These are hard. I love that you guys are doing these with me. Ready? Here we go. Look at the chair. Keep your eyes on the chair. Alright, feels a killer. Oh my god. are really, really, really hard. I'm so happy you guys did this with me. I moved the chair away, but we actually need it. Again, because we're going to isolate the quad and the butt. And these are a little bit tricky, so let me show you. We're going to stand with the chair or the bench or the coffee table behind you. <coughs> We're going to bring one leg back and you want to really jump far because you don't want that knee going over 90 we talk about it all the time. So you can either have the foot flat or the foot up in the semi demi point and all the work is going to be on that standing leg and boy you're going to feel it. We're going to do 20 on each side. I have a challenge for you. If you want to add weights, you're going to really kick it up. So let's start with 20. We're just going to go down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna feel it all right here, all right? Eleven. Squeeze it on the way up. Twelve. Come on. Thirteen. Fourteen. Breathe with me. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, let's just hold it down there. Let's do some little baby pulses, okay? <sighs> breathe. Go to that special happy place. You're gonna burn it out, okay? Four, three, two, one. Woo. Okay, you can imagine how difficult that would be if you added weights. I usually do it with weights. 
I just want to show you guys, because I've never shown you this exercise before, next time, let's add some weights, okay? But the most important part of this exercise is that that foot, whoa, is all the way back there. Because we don't want bending over front, we just want to go directly down. It's a lunge. So, change legs. I don't know which leg you did first. So just alternate, we'll do another 20. Here we go. Ten more. You feel it all here. And here. Hamstrings. Squeeze it. Five, four, shoulders back. Three, two, one. Let's hold it down there. Let's do some little pulses. Happy place. Go to your happy, happy place. Nothing matters except for this little squat. Gonna meditate here, do some little pulses. Here we go. Five more. Oh my God, great job, guys. You did that. I'm so proud of you. So we're hurting, but our cardio is not totally up. You guys know that makes me mad. So we're gonna add a little bit more ballet into this. These are called saute jumps in ballet. We do them all the time. I've done them thousands of times. Dancers do them constantly, but they are all aerobic, all cardiovascular. So you have a couple of choices. You can do a second position. Doesn't matter if you're not a dancer. If you're more comfortable, you can actually do a turnout. This is probably harder if you're not used to it. So I say we just start like this. And all we're gonna do, we can hold our arms up like this. You can hold your arms up like this. Whatever feels better. Anytime your arms are high, you're gonna be working your arms too, okay? We're just gonna bend down, we're gonna do these little jumps. And we land nice and softly like ballerinas. Nice and soft, oh, it's so loud. My ballet teacher would be mad. They heard how loud this was, okay? You wanna be very quiet. Here we go, 20, 20, 19. Seven. we're going to do on the floor. You guys take a minute break. I'm just going to change the camera angle a little bit. Okay. Did you take a one minute um, rest? If you haven't, take it right now. It is really important. Camera's a little crooked. It's fine. I'm not going to mess with it. We're going to do something called Russian kicks. And oh, I really don't like these. <laughs> but I'm going to do them, okay? And we're going to do 20 or maybe 30. See how we're feeling. Pulled my pants up here. They were bothering me. And um, you want to get down in a position like this, okay? So you're going to squat, your hands are faced inwards. This is working your butt again. This is all about the butt and the thighs. And you can take one leg up, and you're simply going to switch, okay? That's it. Switch it, switch it. But each time, you want to keep the butt down here. You want to keep the butt up here. You'll be working. Contracting that glute each time. Why do I hate them? They, they suck a little bit, but they work. We're gonna do 30 of them, okay guys? Keep it nice and high. Let's go. That was 30 and that was Fine, so we're gonna do another 30. Sorry guys, should have said 60. Do I do this a lot to you? 30 more, we can do it. Your hands under the small of your back right here so you don't hurt your back. 
right under here. We're just gonna do old school, up and down. I love these. For 20. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Hold it back. Let's just do a bend here. Nice stretch. Oh, that feels so good. Hamstrings. If you can't go far, don't. If you go all the way, because you're a yogi, I'm not. Go ahead and take a nice good stretch here. Feels so good. Come back down, let's come up. If that hurt any of your backs, let's just do another set of 20 crunches because I don't want you guys to have any pain. And while you're working on getting core strength, and you have any pain in your back, I want you to stop because we don't want pain in the back. So let's bend the legs and do old school crunches. Just 20. Ten more. like an apple or an orange or between your chin and your chest. You want to keep your arms out and open, not like this. Just hold it there. Hold it. And then go slowly down. Great job. Roll yourself up. Excellent. I think we only have, what do we have? Plank, knee down to end this off. and some mountain climbers for our final cardio. Do a stretch, I'm just stretching myself out, guys. I always do this mid-workout. I got some kind of crazy stretches that I like to do. Whatever feels good to you guys, everybody's body is totally different. Okay, get into the plank. We're gonna do 30 of these. Nice straight plank, not like this, not like that. Just nice and straight, okay? We're gonna come down to our forearms. Get that plank straight, I'm just gonna bend the knees. Up and down, here we go, one. Ten. Ten more, just ten more guys, come on. Hold it. a little bit longer. Too much fun I've been having. We gotta get back on track, but the best thing about it is that you always can. Never get down on yourself if you gain some weight or you're a little out of shape or you fell off the wagon. Never beat yourself up. We got everybody in the world beating us up. Don't beat yourself up. Just start again. Every day is a brand new day. So just be happy that we get to work out. We're so lucky, right? We have these bodies. It's incredible. Okay, we are doing mountain climbers for 30 and we're done with this workout. You guys have done a great job if you've been following along with me. So let's get to it. I think you guys know what this is. I will show you quickly. Get back into that happy plank. My hands are sweating. I might slip off the mat. We're just gonna run for 30.
10 more, and we're done. I added 10 on. 10 more. Excellent, you can hear everything. Everything going on in my stomach. All the food I ate. We did it, you guys. We did our Saturday morning, or whatever morning it is for you. 2015 workout. You guys, if you could only do a portion of this, I'm so happy that you joined me. If you can do the whole thing and you're like, Psh, do it twice, add some weights, whatever you're doing, I'm so happy you're here. Let's keep doing this, but you need to subscribe so I can keep doing free workouts for you guys. So that would be awesome. Subscribe, hit that little red button, says subscribe and I'll keep making them. I'm like, oh, these people want to see these. So I would love that. Like the video, share it with your friends if you want to share working out at home, no gym membership. Remember, you don't need anything. You saw me, I had nothing but a mat. I'm wearing like my regular clothes. I have no shoes on. I used a stool, we all have one, and just need a little bit of space. And you can change your body. Let's do it for 2015. You guys are awesome, you rock. So happy to be with you today. I'll see you next time, bye.